how, um, I guess, bouncing off that question, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the front end development. You can, you can technically, the wallet is dataless wallet. You could just put the letter D and then put a commit. You can put the letter A, put a commit. Like, how big are the commits? Is it? Is there something about quality versus quantity for for commits? And if so, how would you rank Cardano? Is it more quality or is it more quantity commits in GitHub? This is really um, interesting because I was thinking about this this same idea, and really, it's it's something I've never really. Um, considered until looking at the different cryptocurrency projects because often you'll hear people compare the number of commits in between these projects as like a way to say you know there's more work going into this one and less work going into this one um and i was thinking like is it possible to actually fake commits right and it is possible like you're saying you can change like one letter in your UI and make that a commit. But um, first of all, those are going to be available for everyone to see online. So if you wanted to go look at those commits, you could clearly see the contents of the commit and, and know what, what took place there. Um, but let's say you did try to just have a lot of tiny commits that were just full of nothing. Like you change a letter, then you change it back and that's two commits. Um, this would ultimately pollute your code base and make the benefits of using GitHub just obsolete because you wouldn't have a way to actually know where you were doing real work versus nonsense. And it's just going to like pollute um, the workflow for everyone. So I think that in general, commits are, um, they're, they're not meant to be uh, something that you do a lot of or a little of. It's more based on the changes themselves. So it's, um, you can think of it more as where would you like to uh, put that placeholder? Um, and generally speaking, you you don't do like one big change and then make that a commit you would want to logically separate the changes up into pieces that make sense so um for for all of the cardano um, repos i would say that all of the commits are quality there's no r real intention to have more than necessary yeah, I'm glad you clarified that because uh, a lot of times what Felipe's referring to, you'll see on Twitter is people say, all right, uh, Ethereum has the most commits and Cardano's number two and Bitcoin's number three. And often people will make a comment and say, oh, well, you can change one letter and do a commit. Well, it's yeah. pretty obvious that's not what's happening with Cardano. The commits are legit. It's some mm -hmm. code was made. It was improved or created. And the commit is there for a good reason. So, yeah. Uh, you, people could always talk in hypotheticals, but I think the reality, the proof is right there on GitHub for everyone to see. So if it was being done in a disingenuous manner, someone would have caught that by now and they would have called it out. So obviously it's being done for good reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that one of the benefits of um, Cardano having a large engineering team, you mentioned 50 plus engineers. I believe there's like eight people working on data lists, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the idea of having so many different save points, if you do that, it pollutes it and that next person can't find that save point. If you've ever played any type of video game and you have a ton of different people playing on that same video game and you have multiple save overs and you're trying to find the last game where you were actually, you need to find that location. If you were doing it by yourself, you could find the latest point. But if there's other people playing with you, they're not going to be able to find that point. And I, I think it's pretty analogous to that situation, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. You know, when we're reviewing each other's work, uh, you're, you're making your commits in, in such a way that another person who didn't do this work can come in and logically see like how you built, you built it from, from step zero all the way through complete. 
So it, it's meant to be as readable and useful as possible, not just for yourself, but for your teammates.